After watching this film, I realized playing Truth or Dare isn't as easy as I thought. <laughs> guys, how's it going? This is Steve as always from Shock Extreme Productions and I have another movie review for you guys today and today is going to be for Invincible Pictures. I only found out about this film a few weeks ago after watching one of Bloodbath and Beyond's reviews. I'll put the link in the description for their channel. They put out some great reviews. Go check them out. Amazing channel overall. This film was written and directed by Jessica Cameron, put out by Invincible Pictures and that is Truth or Dare, not to be confused with Tim Ritter's version of Truth or Dare. The film involves a group of filmmakers that do this Truth or Dare web series, and the film opens up with them doing this somewhat version of Russian Roulette, and the video shows one of the guys getting killed by the blank that was in the gun, and it turns out that it was all a hoax, nobody got hurt, and the video went viral and they became online stars. The cast go on to a talk show and during a Q&A, a crazy, overly crazy fan asks, you know, why don't you ever answer my letters, my messages, uh, I want to be one of you guys, and he pretty much goes off the rail and goes insane to the point where security kicks him out. The crew then celebrates at one of the new crew members' houses and right when they're about to shoot their new video, Derek, the unsettling fan from the talk show, comes in and pretty much takes hostage of all the filmmakers, known as Truth or Daredevils in the film. Derek is pretty much upset that he didn't get the attention he deserved in the letters or in the talk show, and he believes that he should be a Truth or Daredevil. Taking out the main guy of the show, he takes control and plays his own game of Truth or Dare with the cast. Derek then ties him up into a circle and asks each one of them, Truth or Dare. Now my thoughts. I'm honest with you guys all the time. I let you guys know whether I like a film, whether I don't like a film. Truth or Dare is a film that actually disturbed me. It was in fact one of the most disturbing films that I've seen in a long time. And I'm not putting on the same level as Traces of Death or Faces of Gore or M.D. Pope or anything like that. For an actual film, this really disturbed me. The thing that disturbed me the most wasn't the gore, it wasn't the actual killer, Derek, it was all of the characters. All of the characters disturbed me the most. In the beginning of the game, Derek asks truth or dare, and most of them say truth. And Derek asks questions, you know, what was the youngest girl you've slept with? Um, have you had an affair in the last couple of years? Uh, what was your real birth name? And that's where the characters start showing their true colors. One of the actors, who is a grown man, admits that he slept with a 15 year old, a 13 year old, and is even talking to an 11 year old girl online. Another character gets asked what was your birth name, she says Michelle. Derek hurts her and reveals that her true birth name was Michael, revealing the fact that she had a sex change going from a boy to a girl. Probably the sickest one next to the child molester one was what, who was the last person you slept with and the girl reveals her boyfriend, but in fact, it was her brother, which was also a member of the cast of Truth or Dare. Hearing stuff like that truly tripped me out and really got under my skin. Gorn special effects can make a movie more disturbing, but if you have a good script, if you have good characters and good actors, that can make a movie a whole lot more disturbing than special effects. Between story, characters, and special effects, Truth or Dare absolutely nailed it. And let's not forget about the dares, because the dares are also absolutely disgusting. The one character in the beginning of the film who you thought was killed by the gunshot 
is now dared to have a cup put on top of his head and for one of the cast members to shoot it off. The first one goes successfully. The second one, the person holding the gun is blindfolded. He shoots it off successfully. The third one gets a shotgun instead of a handgun. And the girl has just had enough of it, had enough of the whole suspense, and just shoots the guy in the face and kills him. Other dares include making one girl rip out another girl's eyeball, ripping out one girl's kidney. Probably the most disturbing dare out of them all is when the brother is dared to pretty much take a glass bottle and you know what, his sister. Yeah, I, I just said that. The characters, absolutely amazing. Some of the best independent actors I've seen in a long time. Each one of the characters stood out in their own ways between the killer, the truth or daredevils, and each of the truth or daredevils had their different traits to them, and they weren't all the same characters, and I really respect that. Even though the film was from 2013, the gore in this film is disgusting, and it's some of the better independent gore that I've seen in the recent year of 2017. For a rating, I'm gonna give this a total go out, check it out now, but viewer discretion advised, this is a very disturbing film, both in nature, dialogue, all the above. It is a very disturbing film, so just proceed with caution, but overall, excellent film. Anyways guys, that was my review. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you dislike it, hit that thumbs down button. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, Whatever it is you guys do. Once again, my name is Steve from Shock Extreme Productions, and until next time, see y'all later.